Hello and God bless everybody who just joined. God bless you. God bless your families in this very holy month. In this month, guys, we celebrate the birth of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. For the people who just joined, God bless you. Thank you for joining in. Th nice to have you here. Today, the topic is Merry Christmas to you all and a happy 2020. Before we start, guys, let us pray in the name of our Lord and Savior so we can be guided through our live show today. Dear Lord, bless our beloved audience. Lord, thank you for your grace and thank you for this amazing year. Thank you, Lord, for my lovely audience and subscribers who kept supporting me day in and day out for the last year. Please bless them and their families in this very holy month, Lord. Father, enfold us in your arms. Fill us with your Holy Spirit. Help us not to lean on our own understanding in everything. Acknowledge you, Lord, so that you can direct our words, thoughts and actions. Please, Lord, give us a measure of your strength so that we might not give into discouragement, deception, Taqiyya, lies and doubt. Please, Lord, help us honor you in all our ways. Lord, please loosen my tongue today so I can speak without any error or any shame, but with the truth, Lord. Give me wisdom and courage to do whatever needs to be done. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Welcome, everybody. Like we said on this live broadcast today, we have the opportunity to talk about Christmas and celebrate together the birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Uh, today we're going to change it a little bit. Uh, my Skype is open. Everybody can call me live, including the Christians, Muslims, whatever you are, you can call me to celebrate together um, Christmas, the birth of our Lord and Savior. So if you want to share something with us, you are allowed to call us today. We're going to change it a little bit, like I said. So please feel free to call me. And if you have something to share, please do so. We will try also to answer questions or anything that you share with us in the live chat. So please invite your friends. Let everybody know that we are live. And hopefully after our live show today maybe some muslims will accept our lord and savior as their lord and savior because no god except our holy living god made this ultimate sacrifice to come as the eternal word in the flesh to die for us instead so we can live for eternity and be reunited with our lord again like it always should have been so guys thank you for joining in thank you thank you for your support for the last 11 months we're almost doing this for one complete year on youtube uh, as you know i've been debating and teaching for almost 15 years now we're 14 we are doing this for 14 years god is good <clears throat> You know, I really thank God that he made this plan for me to teach and debate and share the gospel and the truth with everybody who is truly a seeker of truth, a sincere person who is truly looking for his salvation. Guys, as you know, as you know, this month is a very holy month. And as you see on the picture, the angels and shepherds, it's hard to escape them at this time of year, right guys? You will find them on many Christmas cards, maybe in shopping windows if you go uh, shopping this month. Maybe uh, if you have children and you bring them to school, you will see uh, that they are doing a nice paintings and whatnot, you know. Not to mention the carols we hear as we turn our radios and TVs 
or maybe make our way through shopping centers and major public like you know the railway station and whatnot and as you see the angels came to the shepherds and they sang angels sang silent night holy night and the shepherds were really shocked when they saw that happening what that what an amazing happening that was when the poor people heard that the Lord will be born in Bethlehem and this unique baby our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ who was born in Bethlehem in the sight of shepherds poor people very normal people and when the angels came to tell them don't be afraid don't be afraid what well, that's what the angels said when they came and brought the news of the birth of a child a very holy child a sinless child the savior of mankind man i really hoped that i was there but jesus said blessed are those who did not see but believed so we are the blessed ones actually guys because we didn't see it happen but we still believe so we are the blessed ones you people are the blessed ones because you after 2000 years you believe while you didn't see now as you know guys we use the word savior in a variety of contexts you know some people you know businessmen or you know uh, maybe rich people who own a huge building and whatnot they are sometimes considered to be savior of people right they provide uh, jobs and whatnot but they are, can never be compared to this holy child the holy child of God the son of God who brought salvation to all mankind who was born as we mentioned in Bethlehem I really, I really sometimes think and I, I don't understand how people cannot love Jesus how can you not love Jesus when you hear, hear about the story of Jesus how he came to sacrifice himself for all of us what does the, <laughs> the meaning of Jesus is it means the Lord saves the Lord saves that's the meaning of his name the anointed Lord saves that's what the meaning of the Messiah Jesus means if we go to Luke guys <clears throat> if you go to Luke 2 10 15 from the King James Version we can read and the angel said unto them fear not for behold I bring you good tidings of great joy which shall be to all people and the angels always said fear not right fear not well we should ask this question to the Muslims when the so-called angel we know it's never been an angel but a demon when he visited Muhammad in that cave cave Hira, Hira, Hira. did this so-called creature this so-called angel Jibril that you call him Jibril did he say to Muhammad fear not no he started to squeeze him immediately like a grape right Iqra, Iqra, Iqra. why why didn't this so-called angel that you claim it's an angel you do you never saw him Muhammad actually believed that it was a demon who came to touch him he actually believed it but it was Khadija who told Muhammad no no this cannot be a demon it must be an angel right did Khadija see no did Khadija hear no so as you understand Islam was actually created on an assumption a false testimony by Khadija herself 
اقرا اقرا ما انا بقاري قاري <laughs> so guys i really the people who just joined i really want to thank you for your support for your amazing dedication supporting us on our live shows on our videos day in day out i really want to thank all of you because and only because of you we can do this i will never forget how when i started my very first live show guys do you remember my very first live show do you remember it i tried to do a live show with, with my very old computer i had an eight year old computer that i tried to do a live show and it really went horrible but because of you, your support, guys, because of your donations, I could buy a new computer. And now, because of you guys, because of your support and your donations, I can do now amazing live shows without any buffering. Thank you for this last amazing year. When I started, guys, I had only a couple of subscribers, but, but in only 11 months, I have almost 7,000 subscribers. Almost 7,000 subscribers in just one year. That's amazing, man. I would never have dreamed that, guys. So thank you. I cannot thank you enough, guys, for your lovely support. So the angel said, we bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people, including Hindus, Buddhists, Muslims, Christians, Jews, everybody, for all the people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David, a savior, which is Christ the Lord. So here he is even called God. Do you see it? Muslims always say, well, show us where Jesus said, I'm God, worship me. Right. Well, it's time for you Muslims to finally read our Holy Bible. You know, the funny thing is, guys, I mean, you have seen it on many live shows. Muslims actually never ever dare to read our Holy Bible, right? They go to zakarnaik.com, they go to ahmadida.com to maybe learn they think they know about Christianity, but they actually don't read our Holy Bible. They don't dare to read our Holy Bible. So they might quote this verse, but they will never read the second verse that comes after, or let alone an entire chapter like this. So he, according to the angels, he is called Christ the Lord. Do you see it? So Christ is the Lord. Do you see it? He is the Lord. And this shall be a sign, a miracle unto you. You will find the babe, the baby, wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, good will toward man. You see, Jesus is peace. He came because he is the eternal word of God. He is Christ, the God, the Lord. Thank you for your uh, donation, uh, Sean. God bless you, my friend. God bless your family in this very holy month. Today, it's a blessing to be with you guys because I'm not sure if this is going to be my last, last live show this year, right? It's only a couple of days till we reach the new year 2020. So for me, this is guys, I really, I'm, I, you know, I'm really busy guys, you know, and I really want to share this for the very first time with you. I received very wonderful news that I really want to share with you. It's hard for me because you know how many people want us dead. You know how many people are cursing me for what we do. But what I want to share with you guys, I am going to become a father for the very first time. So not, not only is this a very holy month because of the birth of our Lord and Savior, but I'm going to become a father. We received, I received from my wife, 
that I'm going to become a father. My wife is pregnant. So this month is for me the biggest month of all my life. So God is good. It, it has been a, a very long time. We were trying for a very long time. But God is good. He did not forget about us too. Thank you. Yeah, this is the first time, guys, that I, I'm telling you this. I really, you know, something really uh, kept telling me, you know, don't do it public. But anyway, I'm not afraid. I want to share this happiness with you too, guys, because you are my beloved audience. You are my brothers and sisters in Christ. And I want to share this with you too. And I'm not afraid to tell you this because I really love you from the heart. I really love you, all of you including the Muslims, not only the Christians. So yeah, we are going to be a really, Lord willing, we are going to be in a couple of months, a really blessed family. You know, when I, when I heard this, I really, you know, uh, you know, I don't cry very easily, you know, you know how Arab Christians are sometimes, we, we act tough, we are sometimes tough, we can be harsh with our wordings, but I really cried like a baby. I kid you not. When I heard this, that I'm going to become a father, I really started to cry like a little child. <laughs> yes. So I really wanted to share this with you guys for the very first time. It is not easy to do that, you know, when you, you receive a lot of death threats. I, we have received many death threats in the last couple of months. As you know, we talked about it. Uh, we received many insults only and only because we are followers of Christ. We are teaching about the truth and expose false teaching. So, you know, you always try to keep your family, your loved ones safe. But God is good. And, you know. So, guys, stay safe. Stay healthy. God bless you. People who are trying to get children like us may god bless you may god bless your families may god grant your wishes in this very holy month yeah this is really a you know this is a very busy month for me so i really tried my best to come live <laughs> and god is good thank you lord that i'm here with you today guys that we can celebrate this amazing news with you this is really huge for me. Thank you. Thank you for your donations. Thank you for your blessings, for your prayers. I know you always keep us, the warriors, in your prayers. We know. And I really thank you for that. Keep you, us in your prayers, guys. I pray for you too, that you are healthy in this month, including the Muslims. And I really thank God for my wife, who is supporting me in what I do. It's hard for her sometimes because she's really afraid that something might happen to me or our family because of what I do. You know, how Muslims, how, how Muslims can be violent because they cannot handle the truth. You Muslims truly cannot handle the truth. Or, so many of you will try to use violence to shut us down, right? But we will always come back because we have the truth with us we have our lord and savior jesus christ and he always tell, told us some people might curse you or persecute you for my name but blessed are the ones who are not afraid maybe they will hurt the flesh but be afraid of the people or the ones who might hurt your soul like muhammad who is deceiving those poor victims that we call Mohammedans. So, as you read, guys, the angels came. Yeah, thank you for your donations, guys. Message of love. God bless you, sister. Thank you for your donation. Guys, don't forget to subscribe to Message of Love. She has an amazing YouTube channel. Subscribe to her too. She always uploads my videos, Christian Prince videos, all kind of videos. Uh, maybe, you know, you, you never know what, what will happen to our YouTube channels, right? You never know when YouTube decides to take us down. It can happen. 
We don't know. You know, they always change their term of agreements and whatnot, their rules and, you know. So maybe someday I, my videos are gone, but at least you can find them on other YouTube channels. So also subscribe to their YouTube channels. Uh, another guy uh, who is always doing an amazing job, Shake Your Booty, uh, he always upload our videos too. So also don't forget about him, subscribe to his YouTube channel too and many other YouTube channels. Forgive me if I did not mention your, you or your YouTube channel, but may God bless you. Keep stay safe and stay healthy in the upcoming year, in the year 2020. And I really want to thank God for everything. I ask God to keep us safe, keep us healthy for many live shows to come in the near future. Yeah. I know message of love. I agree, sister. I know. So thank you. Keep doing what you do. God bless you. God bless your families. Including the Muslims who want us death or maybe want us to be silent. I know. We have been doing a lot of damage in the last months to this man-made sex cult. I know, Muslims. I feel your pain. <laughs> but you should not not be afraid if you are truly sincere muslims with yourselves if you really care about your soul stay away from islam drop muhammad muhammad could not even save himself muhammad could not even save his father or mother who are both in hell according to himself his uncle is burning in hellfire and Muhammad himself did not know what Allah would do to him. So why are you following a man who is dead, rotting in his grave somewhere in Medina? And why are you not coming back home to our Lord and Savior, the living God, who is now with the Father in heaven? Why are you following a dead guy? Why are you not following our Lord and Savior, the living Jesus Christ? So thank you, God, that we are actually followers of your Holy Son. Thank you that you opened our eyes and we are followers of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ who came for us to die for us. How many people actually made such a sacrifice for all mankind? Do, can you know, name me one except Jesus Christ? No one. This is why only Jesus is good and he is worthy to be worshipped. If we go, guys, if we go to other biblical verses that I really want to share today with you about Mary and her son Jesus. The story in the Bible how the angel came, the angel Gabriel or Gabriel or Jibrail came to a small town in Galilee, Nazareth, to a virgin girl that was about to get married to a name to a man named Joseph, a descendant of David. And as you know, guys, the virgin's name it was Mary. When the angel visited her, he said to her, Greetings, you are highly favored. The Lord is with you. And when Mary was afraid, Mary was afraid. She was greatly troubled at the words of the angel. The angel did not start to squeeze her like Muhammad, like a grape or a tomato. No, he said, do not be afraid. La takhafi ya Maryam. Right? That's how we should, uh, can say it in Arabic. La takhafi. Do not be afraid. Do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God. You will be with child and give birth to a son, a very holy son. And you are to give the, him the name Jesus. He will be great 
and he will be called the son of the most high. Who? The son of the most high. The Lord will give him the throne of his father David. The father will give him the throne of his father David and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever. His kingdom will never end. Glory to his name, Jesus our Lord and Savior. How will this be? How will this be? asked Mary to the angel. Since I'm a virgin and the angel answered, the Holy Spirit will come upon you and the power of the Most High, the Father, will overshadow you. So the Holy One to be born will be called the Son of God, the Son of God, not a Son of God, but the Son of God. We are all children of God, right? But here we are talking about the Son of God, the unique Son of God, Jesus Christ. And then he told her even more, even Elizabeth, Elizabeth, your relative is going to have a child in her old age and she who was said to be barren is in her sixth month. For nothing is impossible with God. I am the Lord's servant, Mary answered. May it be to me as you have said, then the angel left her. So you see, she is truly a blessed woman to carry our Lord and Savior in her belly. How can you follow a pagan boy in the shape of Muhammad Muslims and reject our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the Son of the Most High? He is called the Son of the Most High. Is Muhammad called the Son of the Most High? Certainly not. It's impossible for God to die. Well, a random one, because you're a spiritual dead, you're an Ummi Muslim, you're a spiritually dead, illiterate Muslim, you don't understand that God, the Son, already existed with the Father and He came in the flesh. His, he has two natures. You Muslims don't understand this. Jesus has two natures. He, he's 100% man in the flesh and He's 100% God. So the flesh died when he was on the cross, not his other nature. Because you need to understand Jesus is 100% God, he is 100% a man. You Muslims don't understand this because you don't read the Bible to understand this. And you are actually right as Revelation 22, 13 says exactly, God bless you brother. Uh, quote unquote, random one, you are right, God's spirit can never die. So yes, God cannot die. <laughs> Jesus did not die. His flesh died. You don't understand that because you don't understand that Jesus has two wills. He has two natures. You Muslims are ummiyun. You are spiritually illiterate. You are spiritually dead. This is why you are not called the people of the book in your Quran. We are not spiritually dead. We have the scripture, the holy scripture of God. This is why we are called by you Muslims, the people of the book. But your prophet was an ummi because he was a spiritually dead fake prophet. That's the meaning of ummi in the Quran, by the way. guys. We already explained that over and over to you, right guys? Chapter 7, I, uh, out of my head, 150 something. 157 if I'm not mistaken and if you go to chapter 2 I as 78 79 you will understand what spiritually dead the Ummi and the Ummiyun actually means Muhammad was actually spiritually dead he could write and read right he could write and read hence the word Ummi Ummiyun Ummi or Ummiyun does not actually mean illiterate it means someone who is spiritually dead who thinks he knows the message of God but he only wishes so you Muslims you are nothing but victims you are spiritually dead victims because you don't follow your Lord and Savior Jesus Christ you follow the dead rotted rotting man who is his body is rotting in his grave, or already rotted in his grave somewhere in Medina, Muhammad. 
Why don't you come back home to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ? Your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And every knee will bow and proclaim that Jesus is Lord, including your knees, Muslims. Let me explain this further, guys. In Isaiah 9.6, in Isaiah 9.6, a huge prophecy was made by Isaiah, the prophet. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God. So the child that is going to be born, he is the Mighty God. Do you see it? So, all the prophecies that we can find that a child will be born in Bethlehem and is going to be called the mighty God. He is the mighty God. But 600 years later, <laughs> somewhere in the desert, somewhere, an unknown place that you cannot even find on a, on a map in the time of Muhammad. You can't even find that name of that small place called Mecca. Somewhere there, a desert Bedouin lies about the truth, rejects all the prophecies written about Jesus and lies about Jesus and denies that he is the son of the Most High, the son of God. Who is Muhammad? Clearly Muhammad had no idea who the real Jesus was. This is why Muhammad confused Jesus with Isa. Isa, if we do some digging, Isa is the brother of Jacob, Esau. Muhammad confused Mary with Maryam. Maryam in the Quran. Let me show you. If we go to the Quran, guys. Actually, today I didn't really want to go to the Quran, but we are going to do it anyway because it seems that we have Muslim guests. So if we study, actually, and go back to the Quran, chapter 3. If we go to chapter 3, Ali Umran, the family of Umran, it's talking about when the wife of Imran, do you see it? Chapter 3, Ali Imran, Ayah 35. It says, when the wife of Imran, Lord, I vow thee in dedication what is within my womb. Receive thou this from me, thou hears and knows. And when she gave birth to her, she said, Lord, I've given birth to her, a female. This is talking about Mary. So how is it possible? That is, this story suddenly is about the wife of Amran. The wife of Amran, this is at least a 1400 years disaster. A 1400 years historical disaster created by Muhammad, the fake prophet in the Quran. Right? Here Muhammad really, really, really busted himself. Because this is talking about the wife of Amran who is conceived... You know, she is, she is uh, pregnant with a female. And who is this female? Her name is Mary. Do you see it? So this is a huge bust because Imran, or Imran as the Muslims call him, this, he was the father of Moses and Aaron and Maryam. So do you see how Muhammad, how Muhammad confused Maryam the sister of Aaron and Moses with Mary, the mother of Jesus. Do you see how Muhammad was confused? Bam! Muslims deal with this. Guys, uh, we have uh, our beloved Edmunds here also. They joined us, Abdul Halik. Keep them in your prayers, longings of Jerusalem. Uh, Phil Herrera, I'm not sure if he's here, but always doing an amazing job. Keep them in your prayers. We have also Taqiyah Watch TV. Oh, he's one of our brothers, a, a true warrior who is always making amazing uh, videos. And I've used a couple of his videos. Don't forget to subscribe to his YouTube channel too, guys. So you see, guys, thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for your support. In the last 11 months, guys, without you, we cannot do this. And this is why I really wanted to celebrate this month with you guys. This holy month. Christmas. The birth of our Lord and Savior.
And we explained to you just now how Muhammad confused Maryam. There's nothing called Mary, by the way, in the Arabic. It's Maryam. Maryam. Or Maryama. Maryam. This is a vowel that you see here. So it's Maryam. Not Mary. So Muhammad confused Jesus, Isa, who Muslims call Isa, with Esau, the brother of Jacob. That's at least a couple of hundreds years of disaster. Not only that, another disaster that we made, as we explained to you, the 1400 years historical disaster, confusing Mary, the mother of Jesus, the real Mary and the real Jesus with Maryam, the daughter of Imran, the sister of Aaron and Moses. You have to deal with this huge historical disaster, because this is talking about the wife of Imran, who was speaking. Bam, Muslims! Uh -huh. Now we understand how Muhammad busted himself in the Quran. Uh -huh. Yes, Muslims. Brother, are you telling me? Are you telling me that Muhammad confused Maryam with Mary, brother? Yes, brother, because Maryam was the daughter of Imran, as you see here. The daughter of Amran, and Amran was the father of Aaron and Moses. She, she was the sister of Aaron and Moses. Aha, brother. Brother, yes, brother. Yes, brother. Disaster upon disaster upon disaster. So why are you Muslims? Why are you following a pagan? Fake prophet like Muhammad who told you to go around the Kaaba, kiss black stones, pagan rituals, pagan prophet who bowed down to Allah al Uzza wal Manad, as we explained to you in many live shows. Bow to Allah al Uzza wal Manad, the three bird idol daughters of Allah, the pre Islamic moon idol. Why are you such a pagan in 2019, almost 2020? Why are you followers of a pagan cult? Pagan prophet, why are you not coming back home to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ? Today is the day, Muslims. We know Rome was not built in one day. Take your time. But when you're ready, please don't do it for me. Do it for yourself. Please come back home to Jesus. Repent and become a brother of Christ, like my brother in Christ. But we know, we know that Muhammad created Islam. He created Islam. Ya Akhwan, Muhammad created Islam for his own sexual desires. He created Islam for his own sexual desires. He wanted to have ahem ahem with all kind of women, even married women, right? Even married women. When Muhammad laid his eyes on a married woman, a Muslim married woman, her husband, her Muslim husband must divorce her and give her to Muhammad. Is this kind of guy that you want to follow? Muslims in 2020. Only a couple of days left. It's almost 2020. Wake up, Muslims. You Rob Christian, you don't know Arabic, says it's. Ya Habibi, ya. Iftah ayunak. Wake up. You see how kind of gymnastics they need to use to lie about it. You don't know Arabic. Inta ma btafham Arabiya. Inta ma btatkallam Arabiya, Rob Christian. Inta ma btatkallam al Arabiya, ya Rob Christian. You don't know Arabic. Yeah, right. Do you have anything more devastating to expose me, brother? Brother. Is that the only thing you got, brother? Yes, brother. I can only lie about you, brother. Else I cannot silence you, brother. Brother, you don't know Arabic, brother. I know you are born in the Middle East, brother, but I know you don't know Arabic, brother. Right, uh, right, it's brother. Brother, why are you a follower of a Satan worshiper like Muhammad, brother, who gave the satanic verses to the pagan Quraysh, brother? Why are you not follower of our holy Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the Son of the Most High? 
the son of the most high huh the savior the son of the most high christ the lord as our bible teaches who is going to be born in the city of david a savior christ the lord the lord you want to reject all that like your fake prophet You want to reject that Jesus is born in Bethlehem and he is going to be the mighty God as Isaiah 9, 6, as the prophet Isaiah prophesied in his book. You want to reject all that, Muslims. You want to follow a desert man 600 years later who was lying about our holy God in the flesh, our savior. You want to follow a Sabian like Muhammad who copy pasted Sabian pagan rituals like going around the Kaaba seven times, doing tawaf, running between the two hills, Safa wal Marwa, another pagan ritual, kissing black stone, another pagan ritual. Why are you such pagans in 2020? It's almost 2020 Muslims. Why are you such pagans? Why are you doing pagan rituals? Why are you followers of a pagan moon idol Allah? Why? Because you love that? Because you want to stay pagan in 2020? Is that why, brother? If we go to John 1, guys, one of the most beautiful verses in the Bible for me. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God. And the word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him. By who? Jesus, the word. Do you see it? All things were made by him. And without him was not anything made that was made. Without who? The word. Do you see it? In him was life. In who? In the word. So Jesus is the eternal word of God that was already with God and he was God. And he is the life bringer. He gives life because Jesus said, remember, I am the truth, the way and life. He is the life bringer. He gives life. He brings life and was the light of men. If we go to the Quran, you will see all these divine claims that are made by Allah. So it seems we can conclude that the same divine claims that Allah makes in the Quran are made by and given to Jesus. And the light shined in the darkness and the darkness comprehended it not. Do you see it? And if we continue, we will understand that he was born, not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of men, but of God. And if we continue, it says, and the word was made flesh. Do you see it? The word was made flesh. That was Jesus and dwelt among us. And we beheld his glory. The glory of who? The tasbih of who? Of Jesus. Glory in Arabic is tasbih. Tusabbih. Ana usabbih. Jesus as of the only begotten of the father do you see it so the word the same word that created everything and was everything was for him is for jesus this is only and only for jesus do you see why christians worship jesus muslims these are not my words these are the words of the holy bible the words that are divinely inspired by the holy spirit to men who wrote the bible if we go to Colossians 1 16 it says for by him for by him who Jesus were all things created so everything was created through this holy word the eternal word of God Jesus himself that became flesh so everything was created by Jesus that are in heaven Muslims pay attention and that are in earth visible and invisible whether they be thrones or dominions all principalities, all powers, all things were created by Jesus 
and for Jesus. So Jesus owns you, Muslims. Jesus owns me. Jesus owns everything that you see and do not see. Bam! Deal with it, Muslims. And you dare to say, show us what Jesus has got in the Bible. Lord have mercy. So Muslims, please come back home to Jesus and celebrate this holy month with us. This is a really holy month for everybody, not only for the Christians. It should not only be for the Christians, for everybody. Because here we are talking about God himself coming in the flesh. God himself that already existed with the Father. The Son of the Most High, Jesus, who already existed with the Father as the eternal word of God. Who who created everything by the word and for this word. He created everything. When God was creating, that word was creating. Joy to the world, exactly Phyllis. You see how important Jesus is for everybody. Because he is God. You want to follow a dead guy in his grave, i.e. Muhammad. Who could not even help himself. Who did not know what God would do to him. Or let alone save his parents and uncle. He could not even save his parents and uncle. And you want to reject our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And you follow a fake version of Jesus. I.E. Isa. We don't know who Isa is my friend. We never heard of Isa. We call him Yesu al-Masih in Arabic. Yesu al-Masih. Which is a direct translation from the Aramaic. Yeshu am Shihu. Guys. Yeshu al-Masih, the real name of Jesus in Arabic, comes from Yeshu am Shihu. Right? Who gave us the Abun the Bashmaya, the Lord's Prayer. The Abun the Bashmaya, Nifqada Shmoch, Thithi Malkuthoch, Nehwe Sibyonoch. And so on and so on. The Lord's Prayer in Aramaic. Yes, I'm an Aramaic speaker too. Glory to his name, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. How many more evidence you need that your Jesus, my Jesus, is our Lord and Savior? Guys, like we said, maybe some people who just joined. Thank you. Uh, some people are sending me uh, messages through Skype. Merry Christmas is Miss Piggy saying Merry Christmas to you too, dear sister. Merry Christmas, a healthy and happy 2020. Be blessed. So guys, we told you today is going to be a different kind of live show. Everybody can call us as the title of the video of the live show says. If you want to call us, you want to share something with us, you're allowed to do so. Don't be scared. Don't... <laughs> I'm not going to buy. It. <laughs> Today, guys, is a, a free pass for everybody. You want to call us, you want to share something with us, you want to talk about, share something about Islam, about Christianity, about this holy month. You are free to do so, guys. The line is open, my Skype is open. You see, my Skype is open. You can call me right here, right now. If you're a Christian, you're a Muslim, you, whatever you are, I don't care. If you want to share something, call me. The line is open, guys. You can call me on my Skype. My Skype ID is the Rob Christian. Again, the Rob Christian without separation. Do we have any Muslim? Do we have any Christian? You're allowed to call us. Uh, by the way, guys, I really tried to call Christian Prince yesterday because I noticed that Christian Prince was doing the same. I tried to call him at least three or four times and his line was so busy, I could not get through. As else you would have heard me yesterday on Christian Prince live show. But he was being called over and over. <laughs> so, yeah. That's, yeah. It is what it is. Do we have any Muslim? Do we have any Christian who wants to share something with us? Go ahead. The line is open. Guys, if we go to many verses like Isaiah 7.14, it says, and as prophesied by the prophet Isaiah, 
Therefore the Lord himself will give you a sign. Behold, a virgin will be with child and bear a son. A virgin will be with child. Now take a wild guess who the prophet Isaiah was prophesying about. A virgin will be with child and bear a son and she will call him, call his name Emmanuel. Behold, Matthew 1 verse 23, Behold, the virgin shall be with child and shall bear a son and they shall call him his name Emmanuel, which translated means God with us. So you see how the prophecy of the prophet Isaiah has been fulfilled in Matthew 1 verse 23. Now let me give you the verses guys in the live chat. So maybe you want to copy or paste them, save them, help me to help you. So, and you see here in Matthew, the prophecy has been fulfilled. Do you see it? So, and, but Muslims dare to say, Isa, Isa, who is Isa? We don't know who Isa is. Esau is not God. Well, yeah, that's true. If you if you think that he is Esau, that's a different story. Yeah, he's not God. But the real Jesus, in Arabic, as we mentioned, Yesu al Masih, is the really the the Son of the Most High, the Son of God. So your prophet confused Jesus with Esau, the brother of of Jacob, the brother of Israel, and he confused Mary with the Maryam the sister of Aaron and Moses. Is there any Muslim who thinks he has the courage and the knowledge to refute me on that? Feel free to do so. We are live. We are here. We are not hiding. You can call us. My Skype is open. Call me. If you really think you stand a chance to refute me. Aisa, who is that? Yeah, who is that? I, I, I really don't know Aisa. So you tell me. You tell me. Guys, do you like our live show today so far? Should we continue? Huh? If we go to Micah 5.2, Micah 5.2, it says, But as for you, Bethlehem, Ephratat, too little too little to be among the clans of Judah. From you one will go forth from me, for me to be ruler in Israel. His goings forth are from long ago, from the days of eternity. And if we go to Isaiah 9, 6, for a child will be born to us and son will be given to us and the government will rest on his shoulders and his name will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God. Do you see that a child will be born in Bethlehem and he's going to be the mighty God on earth in the flesh. John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. So as you see again, the son of the most high is the life bringer. If you believe in him, you will live for eternity, you will not die in your sins your soul will not die in hellfire for eternity and as we see in many other verses when Jesus went to be baptized by John the Baptist. John the Baptist said, I'm not even worthy to tie his sandals, his shoes, basically. A voice crying in the wilderness. That was John the Baptist. Another prophecy fulfilled. And Jesus is called the anointed, the Messiah. The Lord that saves, he is called that because he was anointed by the Holy Spirit that came in the shape as a dove from above. And God the Father 
God the Father says, this is my beloved son, listen to him. How many more evidence, how many more verses do you want from us to prove to you that Jesus is Lord? You Muslims, it's on you. You cannot handle the truth. But if you can handle the truth, come back home to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. But the Muslims who want to stay death blind, if you want to stay deaf and blind, stay in your sins. You will die in your sins. And you'll be held account for. It's on you Muslims. Show us where Jesus said, I'm God, worship me. <laughs> the same 35 year old claims that they repeat over and over and over that was started in the shape of Ahmadidad the Ahmadidad who we busted in many of our live shows over and over Still they repeat the same nonsense because they have nothing new. Because Muslims are bankrupt, they repeat the same nonsense over and over. Yeah, Ian Randall uh, just posted a really beautiful verse from John 10, 33. We, the Jews are saying, we are not stoning you for any good work, they replied, but for blasphemy because you are a mere, mere man claimed to be God. So the Jews... They were not stupid. They knew why they wanted to kill Jesus. Because he claimed to be God, the Son of the Most High. Equal with the Father. You need to understand in the time of the Jews, guys. In the time of Jesus and the Jews at that very moment. When you were talking about God, the Jews only knew God the Father, right? They only knew the God of the Father. God the Father. So Jesus, guys... If he, Jesus said, I am God, that means Jesus is claiming, right? This is why Jesus didn't say, I'm God, worship me. Guys, please focus. Please focus with me. When You need to picture this in front. Are you with me, guys? Please be. Uh, give me a one if you're with me. Why didn't Jesus, with these exact words, why didn't he say, I'm God, worship me? Because if Jesus would have said, guys, I'm God, worship me, that means Jesus is the worst communicator ever, if he said it. Why? Why, guys? Because if Jesus said, I am God, worship me, that means Jesus claiming to be the Father. Is Jesus the Father? No, Jesus is the Son. This is why Jesus didn't say to the Jews, I am God, worship me. Else he would have said, guys, are you with me? Else Jesus would have said, God forbid, Jesus would have said, God forbid, these are my words, these are not the, uh, the words of Jesus. Else Jesus would have said, I am God the Father, worship me. You see how perfect Jesus is, guys? Do you see why Jesus didn't make this, this claim? Do you understand why Jesus didn't say, I'm God, worship me? Because to a Jew, in the time of Jesus, if Jesus would have said to a normal Jew in his time, I am God, worship me, that means Jesus claimed to be God the Father. Did you catch it? Take notes. So Jesus claimed to be the, the Son of God, the Son of the Most High. Because he is the Son of God. Not, he's not the Father. This is why Jesus did not say, I'm God, worship me. Did you catch it? Do you see why Jesus is the perfect communicator? Bam! Do you see why Jesus is perfect? Because if Jesus would have said, I'm God, worship me, he would have said, I am God the Father, worship me. And Jesus would never, never, never bust himself like Muhammad. Because Jesus is perfect. Jesus is the Lord. He is the perfect God in the flesh. Bam! Take notes. Whenever a Muslim asks you, show me what Jesus says, I'm God, worship me. You cannot, you will need to say, Jesus did not say these words because to a Jew in the time of the Jews, where Jesus was there, he would have meant, I am God the Father, worship me. And Jesus would never, never bust himself like that. Take notes, guys. Help me to help you. Show me, silence me. Exactly. Do you see, guys, how important it is that Jesus actually did not say, I am God, worship me? Else he would have meant, 
And the Jews would have understood that he's God the Father. But Jesus is not God the Father, he's God the Son. So this is why Jesus did not say, I'm God, worship me. He said, I'm the Son of the Most High. That's what he said. He was a perfect communicator. But Allah in the Quran is the worst communicator. Allah in the Quran cannot even spell his 99 names correctly. And we showed you over and over that. Right guys? We should ask Allah to go back to school again and learn Arabic. He cannot even write his names correctly. I mentioned this on my live show with brother Al Fadi from Sierra International. If you didn't see that video guys, go watch it. It's on my YouTube channel. After this live show, go watch it. You'll be amazed how Allah is really a guy that would have failed his Arab exams. If Allah would take an exam, he would have got himself an F. Here's an example guys, let me show you. If you go to the Quran, we see that Allah, Allah cannot even write his name correctly. Milk and Malik. Which one is correct, Muslims? Don't say they are both correct. No, no, no. Your taqiyah is not working with me. So is it Malik or Malik? You see, the Muslims, when they started to add vowels, in the late 9th century and the beginning of the 10th century when it was completed, they started to add vowels and dots. They actually corrupted the Quran because, you know, it's, how do you know that it's saying Malik? Or let alone Malik. So if you go to Quran.com, guys, you will see that it's written like this without an alif, without a small separation here, as you see. But if you go to QuranWow.com, you see an alif. It's Malik. Malik. So this can also mean, guys, that someone gave Allah, <laughs> someone gave Allah, if you put the vowels differently, it can be the one who owns or got the permission from, from a different God. So now Allah number one gave the permission to Allah number two to own the worlds. Malik Yomidin, the owner of the worlds. Someone else gave the permission to Allah to own the worlds. So how many gods do you have in Islam, uh, Muslim? Was it Muhammad who gave the permission to Allah to own the worlds? So we actually, we should ask Allah to go back to school and we should ask Muslims to stop correcting the Quran of Allah with their own hands, as you see here. Let me show you guys the deception, 101. If we go to the Quran, chapter 1, Quran.com, chapter 1, Forget about the first ayah. Let me go directly to this one that I'm mentioning. Let me make it bigger for you. Do you see? No separation, no alif in between. But if we go to another website like this one, we scroll down, it's here you see an alif. Do you see it? Here no alif, here is an alif. So which one is correct Muslims? This is both Hafs Quran. Don't, you cannot play the games and say to me, no, no, Rob Christian, this is Warsh, this can be Qalun. No, this is both Hafs Quran. Which one is correct, Muslims? Only one can be correct. So you see how the Muslims are playing with the Quran of Allah? Corruption on top of correction? Huh? So it seems that we have many gods. And to correct the disaster that Muhammad created in the Quran, because we know Muhammad is the one who fabricating these ayahs. To correct it, Muslims started to put letters and you Muslims dare to say, no dots, no letters changed in the Hafs Quran. You liars, you truly have no shame, you have no dignity. Why are you lying, Muslims? The proof is in front of you. So Muslims started to correct the Quran of Allah with their own hands. Corruption, when they started to add letters, dots, uh, tashkil, vowels, to sound, the, you know, the, the words can have a different sound. So when you place a fatha damma al kasra, the tashkil, the vowels that you see here on top or beneath, the word becomes differently. It gets a different meaning, different sound, even the meaning that it changes. Right? 
as you see, you are followers of a dead guy who is rotting in Medina somewhere. And you reject the real Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. There is nothing called Isa Muslims. We call him, we Arabic speaking Christians, we call him Yeshua al Masih, which is a direct translation of Yeshua al Mashiach from the Aramaic. There is nothing called Isa. If we do some digging, Isa, Muhammad confused with Esau, the brother of Jacob. Do we have any Muslim? Do we have any Christian who wants to call us? Guys? You want to share something with us? Go ahead. Feel free to call us. We are here for respectful discussions or <clears throat> you want to call, you want to share something in this holy month with us. Go ahead. My Skype ID is the Rob Christian. The line is open for everybody. As the video title says, everyone can call us. It's funny, you know, sometimes, guys, I, love, I get a lot of messages. Rob Christian, can I call you? <laughs> now we are giving you the time, guys. Don't say next time, Rob Christian, you're not allowing us to call as Christians. Don't say that. Come on, guys. <laughs> I understand. If you don't want to call, maybe you're busy. Maybe you have kids that you need to take care of and you only want to listen. That's fine. Uh, random one, why are you not calling? Random one. I mean, everyone can uh, be in a text and try to pretend to be a text warrior. Oh, someone is calling? I left my Skype open on my different PC. Let me scroll, call that one and call me back, please. Just a second guys, I closed my Skype. I always forget to close my Skype on my different PC. I know. Uh, Jao, you called me, let me call you back, Jao. Thank you for your donations guys, God bless you, thank you. Hello? Hello Jao, you just called me, right? Yeah, I just called you. Hey, yeah. how uh, are you my friend, God bless. I'm fine, thanks, brother. Um, yeah. I just want to to bless you, uh, you know, and um, to co congratulate you because this is a great blessing. Uh, I myself am a father of four children. I'm telling you, each and every one of them is different. I also cry; it's normal. You know, uh, don't be don't be sad when you cry because you're gonna cry even more <laughs> when you see it for the first time. Mm -hmm. um, you know, what I'm telling you is, this, a few days ago, I've, I've been praying. Uh, I was praying in my living room. Right. And uh, because you know that uh, you know this is simple, uh, and this is true actually. See, Jesus says, "My sheep they hear my voice, right, and mm -hmm. they follow." Right? If we are not able to listen to His voice, how do we expect to to follow Him? You know, our God speaks many ways. You no, know, the Bible is one of them, one of them, but He also speaks. So if you go to the um, to the Old Testament as well, and uh, to all the prophets and and so on, you see that something is common. They listen to God, right? So I heard God. He spoke to me. Wow, you know? that's amazing. And so I, did you accept God your, your, as your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ? Yes, indeed. Yeah, I was. You know, I was. Brought, I was uh, raised as a Catholic. You know, okay. Okay. But, uh, I felt something different because I was reading the Bible. You yeah. know, normally they, they don't read the Bible. Yeah, right. Yeah. Uh, so the problem. My father was raised to be a um, priest. So he was very strict. He kicked me out of the house because I was sharing the Bible mm. with non-Catholics, you yeah. see. And, um, you know, but God was revealing himself to me wow. slowly. Amazing. You know? Yeah, because I, yeah. God I, is good, my friend. God is good. I if mean, you're truly seeking for him, he will He will come to you. He already has. Uh, you know, that's what I'm sharing with you as well. Wow. It's been amazing. Um, so uh, Good for I you, my friend. Good for you. Yeah, it's for all of us, not just for me, for all yeah, of us, you know. Yeah, amen. The, the biggest blessing is is to be able to become a son or a daughter of yeah. the living God. 
It's, when did that happen to you? If I may ask, when did that happen to you? Yeah, it happened to me progressively. It was not just overnight. Okay. It took uh, it took, uh, it took uh, many years, you know. I but see. The, I started to read the Bible, and the Bible was speaking back to me. And I asked the priest, "Okay, yeah. who, what is the Holy Spirit?" And he laughed at me. I was shocked because why is he laughing at me? You know, mm. uh, I'm confessing my ignorance, of course, but I want to know. And so, oh, so you want to know the Holy Spirit? Start reading your Bible. Yeah, I'm I start, but I start reading my Bible, and uh, eventually, he, I was. It was strange. For example, I was I was in a mass, and mm. uh, I'm a software engineer, and I had a problem with the computer. I had to fix, you know, yeah. because I used to to manufacture computers and and um, and laptops. But yeah. this one was cracking my mind. Everything was perfect going to the books, but this still not working uh, as 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 I expected. Mm. And then I was distracted, and when the priests. You know, lifted the bread. I heard a voice from the outside. Remember, I was not born again. Okay, from the outside, from the last side, from the right side, telling, "Pay attention, because he's speaking to the Father." Yeah. And I, I opened my eyes, but no one was close to me. Also, who's playing tricks and playing tricks on me? Because I I know nothing about the Holy Spirit. Eventually, um, one day, this is amazing. You know what? I, what I'm going to share with you, I share with so just a handful. of uh, um, of people, you know, but although I was a Catholic, I was seeking God. So yeah. this might happen to everyone because God is love. Yeah, uh, this amen, is a, my friend. Um, uh, I, I came from work. I was living with my parents, and I found my friends in the street about three o'clock in the morning to say, "What are you bumps doing here? You should be studying." No wonder why you're sleeping at the university. You know. Now yeah. I understand. I said, "Listen." Our friend Salou, he fell out of the ground in a football match. He knocked his head on a stone. He was in coma. And his mother took him home to take care of him personally. But there was an accident on the highway. There's many children who now are motherless and fatherless. And she abandoned her son to take care of the motherless and fatherless. She was a Christian. Yeah. She was a Christian. And the, you can see by that because you become like Christ. You know, the, the reason why you're there is just because... The love of God is in you. You know, sometimes you cannot even explain. That's why mm. you get irritated when, 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 uh, when see people lost. You know, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I understand you perfectly. And um, someone, for example, is more explosive, and and uh, I see this, the very same pattern. You know, yeah, yeah your so, life, your life changed basically, right? When you accepted yeah. him. Yeah. Totally, totally. You know, even the way you think, the yeah. way you perceive things, you don't, you don't, you no longer think about yourself. You yeah. think towards others, you know, put to others in, in the first place. And sometimes people don't understand you and they call you crazy. But, you yeah. know, Jesus warned us that uh, the yeah. world will not understand you, you know. Yeah, they, uh, will, they will insult you because you're a follower of mine. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Another thing is, uh, and then we, we spoke about, I joined them because I, I know I, as soon as I got this, this uh, revelation from my friends, I joined them. To, to you know to do everything in our power to avoid to to n not allow uh, salute to, to fall asleep because he might might not be wake uh, able to wake up again so um, and then I was the only one believer among the six of them and yeah. they started at me okay what you're looking at me am I an alien no you believe in the book the yeah. book the Bible yeah yes I do so if God is real why he doesn't come back and and you know end this misery yeah. and all things and yeah. I told him the parable of the wheat. Yeah, you know? you know, many people, my friend, don't understand. You know, I get this question a lot. Many uh, non-Christians asking me. They're actually seeking, right? But something is always keeping them uh, away from uh, accepting our Lord and Savior. And they ask, why yeah. do you have, why, why are this, why is there so much pain? Uh, why is there so much misery? If if God is, is really God, why is not, is he not fixing all that? But they don't understand the fact that when we, you know, when mankind chose to go against God, from that moment on when we were separated from God and sin, the sin entered, the sin entered mankind, diseases started to happen. Misery, death, yes. uh, uh, people started to do all kinds of bad uh, behavior. So we, uh, because God gave us the free will, we chose to go against God. And because of that, we were separated from God. And because of the sin that entered the flesh, it entered mankind. This is why there are diseases and all kind of pain and misery. You need to understand it, you know, because we, we did that to ourselves. God didn't want us 
wanted us to be separated from him. No, we chose to go against God. And that's why. And many people don't understand. Yeah. Exactly. This is the gospel. Yeah. This is the gospel. Just don't yeah. this is exactly, the gospel. my friend. So one example. day, yeah. One yeah. day I was in a church, uh, actually praying as well. Um, and then I heard a voice telling to me, I left everything. I left the glory I had with the Father. Like a widow who lost a coin, who Amen. swapped twelve yeah. pounds, mm -hmm. find a coin. What coin? Once he found a coin, she rejoices with the coin. She rejoices with a friend because once what has been lost has been found. Like a shepherd who had yeah. one hundred, one got lost, and he, because of this one, he, he went to the wilderness and to, to the dark places yeah. and to the mountain to seek for this sheep. Once his sheep was was found, yeah. he put in his shoulder. And uh, he rejoices with his friend. And he says, like a merchant who found a precious stone um, mm -hmm. and went back, sold everything he had to buy this stone, just because of this stone. So I have found you. Yeah. This is for you as well. This is for everyone. Yeah. Thank you. I Thank you for calling, my friend. Really, I really appreciate that you shared your testimony with us. Do you want to share anything else with us? Because maybe some pe other people will want to call. Uh, God bless you. Thank you for calling, my friend. Do you do you want to share anything before you? Yeah, yeah, yeah indeed, uh, indeed. I just end up this story because uh, yeah. this day when I was I was seeking God, I was seeking yeah. the true God. Okay, um, they they challenged me uh, with many questions. I, yeah. I was able to answer them. So the, uh, the problem yeah. of, the, of the bad cities, uh, bad witnesses is that uh, the, uh, something someone who is bad can change, and God believes that. And he Amen. That. And Amen. Amen. There's hope for everybody, my friend. Exactly. Right? Exactly. Yeah. So, and God loves that. And the yeah. great is the, 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 the joy in heaven. Yeah. So the thing. Exactly. And it's oh, uh, if you if you uh, if you speak to that to that tree, okay, go and pluck out yourself and plant yourself in a pile of stone. It will obey. Mm -hmm. And look at me. Do you believe that? Of course I do. So I challenge you. Yeah. I accept the challenge, yeah. and I knew myself. I I, I spoke to God. Yeah. And then um, it began to rain. Began to rain. Uh, I was so from my waist to my head. It was strange, like someone with a bucket of water in front of me saying, "Get out of here! <laughs> Get mm. away from you know <laughs> how they're yeah. doing." So I went back to them. Said, "Listen, uh, apparently the answer was no, or my faith is not as big as I thought." Yeah. And what it, Jesus says, "Whatever the three gathered my name, there will be in the midst." So. Would you care to join me, even if you Amen. believe there's a little Only bit, if it's only two, two people, them, right? Yeah, exactly. If two people mention my no, name, I'll be in the middle. So, yeah, exactly. Yeah, and, and yeah, there were six at all, but only two of them, uh, you know, uh, joined me in prayer. And I knew myself in front of me, and I asked, Father, I know you are here. Yeah. I know you you are listening to me. I'm, I'm asking you for a sign, not for me, but, but for them, because you might find a sign in them better than the sound in front of me boom began to rain yeah. but differently i wasn't getting stoked it was a, like a, a bound dry circle around yeah. the tree of us okay with ponds of water forming everywhere and then we saw a light the the tree became enlightened you saw you see the light from a from a camera from a flash of a camera this light was even brighter my eyes were closed i was blinded with the, with the brightness of this light I remember. and there was someone behind the tree and the other guys, they saw them come running, and the one that had an injury on on, on, on his forehead, he, he he slammed, you know, he fell on his knees, crying to God, my God, my God, I'm sorry, because I doubted you. What do you want from me? Okay? And yeah. uh, the Brazilian guy put your hand on, on, the, on his forehead because there was no scar, no trace of any injury at all. Yeah. You know? And then uh, we saw... You know, there was someone behind the tree. The the brightness didn't came from the tree, but from this person with linen clothes. We could not even see the faces, stretching the hands, his mm. arms, all of us, even to the ones who insulted him, because they, they did insult him and the Bible and mm. his word. Yeah. All right, my friend, thank you for he calling. I really know many people maybe want to call. Thank you. Thank you for your testimony. God bless okay. you. Ha have a amazing 2020. Merry Christmas to you and your family. And uh, okay. yeah, we, maybe we will s speak to each, each other again in the future. Thank okay. you for calling. God bless yeah. you, my friend. Thank God you for your testimony. Thank you. God bless. God bless. God bless. Thank you. Bye. So as you heard, guys, uh, you know, wonderful testimony. And the brother, you know, he had a lot to say and share with us. That's amazing. You know, God is for everybody who is a seeker, seeker of truth, right? You know, but if you want to 
be a follower of the devil, i.e. Satan and his agent, the agent of Satan, Muhammad, you're going to want to have stuff like this, right, Muslims? Stuff like this. You're going to go after the virgins, right, Muslims? You want to have a lot of virgins, like our uh, brother, Al-Baghdadi, right, Muslims? Look at this, brother. Brother, now I understand why Al-Baghdadi blew himself up at, with his children. He killed his children and he uh, took his, one, uh, I think, two or three of his children together with him in death. Do you think uh, he and his children will enjoy the, the virgins in heaven, in the sex brother of Allah? Huh? I mean, look at this man. Oof, oof, oof. This must be a true story. The virgins, you know, their bones, you know, the flesh will be th seen through. You will see the narrow of their bones. The virgins of Allah look, will look like this, guys. Look at the high heels, man. I mean, come on. Don't you want to say the Shahada after this? Are you not convinced? Look at this guy, guys. I mean, after this story, after this true story, if you don't accept Muhammad as the Prophet of Allah, then I don't know what truth, the defin definition of truth means. Look at this guy. Muslim terrorist protecting his genitals. He's protecting his genitals. Uh, he's a he's a terrorist fighting for the sake uh, of Muhammad and his army, right? He's protecting his genitals with a cement block in case he gets killed. He will still have his genitals ready for the seventy-two virgins in heaven. True story, Muslim. Now you understand why you must protect. You know, it's all about the virgins, right, Mister Al Baghdadi? Did you protect your genitals when you blew yourself up? When you were running from those dogs, right, in that tunnel. Did you protect your genitals like this guy? You know, to receive the many uh, virgins. Look at this guy, man. This must be true story. How many people want to say the Shahada after this? Now I understand why you Muslims don't want to accept Christ as your Lord is because it's all about the women, right? Muslims, right? It's all about the women. Guys, in the past, in the past, we mentioned this to you. This Saud, sorry, this Egyptian cleric, this Imam, this Sheikh, a PhD Sheikh, he said in his video. It's okay to have sex with your illegitimate daughter. So basically a daughter that is conceived out of legal Sharia marriage. Says the Egyptian, this guy, according to his cleric's logic. There is an interpretation of Al-Shafi's work saying if a man impregnates a woman who is not his wife, the child is tec not technically his. So it's okay to have a boing boing with your own daughter in Islam. Yeah, the daughter of the zina, exactly, Abdul Hadi. So if if your daughter is from zina, she's not your daughter. She is your daughter, but she's not your daughter, brother. Yeah. Yes, brother. Uh, if we have any Muslim, call me. So why, now we understand, guys, why we have people like uh, Random One and these kind of terrorists, because it's all about the women. They don't like uh, the truth. They only do this for the women, man. It's all about the women, right, Muslims? It's all about uh, the, the, the Huris the, who look like this. You reject Jesus. You reject your Lord and Savior Jesus for this, Muslims. Is that, is that what it is? It's all about the women, right? This is why you don't want to celebrate Christmas with us, right, Muslims? It's all about the Huris, man. Huh? It's all about the Huris. It's all about the carnal flesh, right, Muslims? Look at this guy, man.
All right? Yeah. This is why you want, don't want to celebrate Christmas with us because you have to follow the Sunnah of your Prophet. Sahla, keep breast <clears throat> feeding him. <clears throat> but brother, Prophet, brother, he is a grown up man. Suckle him, Muhammad smiling. <laughs> I know, I know, but keep suckling him. I know, sit down, sit down, I know. <laughs> Muhammad is having jokes. And these poor illiterate desert Bedouins 1400 years ago believed in this and still Muslims in almost 2020 still believe in, in, in his sunnah. They are still following his sunnah, people. Right, Muslims? You see, Muslims are only doing it this for the flesh. And only for the flesh. It has nothing to do with the truth. And Muhammad was having jokes. He was smiling. He was uh, laughing about his own jokes. And the Muslims, the Sahaba, 1400 years ago, actually believed in this nonsense. In his nonsense. They believed in his lies, in his taqiyya, in his deception. They rejected because of this one man and one man alone who had no eyewitnesses. He had no evidence to back up all his lies, his deception. And he created Islam for his own sexual desires. And he rejected the child of God, the son of the Most High that came in the flesh. Right, Muslims? This is why you reject Christianity, right? This is why you reject to celebrate Christianity and Christmas with us, right, Muslims? This is why you reject to celebrate the birth of our Lord and Savior this, in this holy month with us. Christmas is pagan. So celebrating the birth of our Lord and Savior is pagan now, Muslims. I see. I feel your pain, Muslims, because it's all about the carnal flesh. It's all about, you know, ahem, ahem, boing, boing. It's all about, it's all about the bing, boing, boing in the Islamic brothel of all. Right, Muslims? You know, a smart man, guys, a smart guy once said, some people, i.e. the Muslims, just want to see the, bur the world burn. Some people do not care about the truth, guys. They just want to see this world burning. So you will have always followers of Satan and his agent. The agent of Satan, Muhammad. The teaching of Muhammad. You will always have those kind of people. But unfortunately, it's a huge number. You know? Unfortunately, those poor victims who actually believe in the lies of one man and one man alone, who had no eyewitnesses, who did not, did not even speak to God, who was visited by a demon in that cave who started immediately to squeeze him. This so-called demon or, you know, this so-called creature that appeared to Muhammad, he didn't say to him, Salamu alayka ya Muhammad, peace be upon you. No, no. Or don't fear no 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 he immediately started to squeeze the hell out of him like a grape like a tomato Iqra, Iqra, Iqra. he's speaking from cave hero Iqra, Iqra. Ma ana bi qari, qari, qari. i cannot read 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 rob this creature why are you calling me a creature abdul are you trying to insult me? Well, I don't care. I mean, when you insult me, you are blessing me according to my Lord and Savior. So, you know, I don't really don't care about your insults, man. I really don't care about your insult. Keep insulting me left and right. I, that's my actually my blessing. You are actually helping me. 
You are blessing me with your insults. According to my Lord and Savior. Uh, Abdul Lutba, I already did many times. Have you not seen my videos? You potato. Have you not seen my videos? I already spanked them one by one. What's wrong with you, man? <laughs> Lord of mercy. Have you not seen my videos? Have you not seen my live shows about these kids that we spanked left and right? What's wrong with these Muslims, man? My channel is full of it. Look. My channel is full with spanking these Abduls. Look. I mean, you see that? Farid. How many times do I need to spank your uh, boyfriends, man? Look how many times. Here, here, Ali Dawa, who became a Christian. We glorify, quote unquote, Ali Dawa is saying, quote unquote, we do tasbih, glorify Jesus more than you Christians. Shushu, Mimi Hijab, look, Farid. You really need to pay attention more, Abdul. You need to pay more attention, Abdul. You are missing out. Well, you know, it's enough, you know, to spank an Abdul over and over. You know, I want your Imams. Guys, someone is calling me on my phone. Just give me a sec couple of seconds, guys. Guys, someone called me on my phone. So let me uh, mute my mic. I really need to call him back. Just a second, okay? All right, sorry guys, I really had to call this guy who called me back. Do we have any Muslim? Do we have any Ustaz? Do we have any Imam? We don't like to spank the same kid over and over, right? Is there any Christian maybe who wants to call us? Want to share something with us? Maybe you want to share a testimony or you want to... Tell us why you are celebrating this holy month. Uh, you can you can call me. You you can celebrate with me, right here, right now. 
the birth of our Lord and Savior. Maybe you want to share something with the audience. Go ahead. The line is open, guys. Skype is open. You can call me. Ali Maghdad called me. Let me see. Hello? Hello? Daddy Ultimate. You're gonna run again. Daddy Ultimate Truth. Yeah. I have no time for kids. The same kids. I told, just told you. I don't have time to spank the same kids over and over. Let me block this. Donkey. I don't have time for spanking the same Rashad Khalifa boy. You know, Rashad, yeah, the, the same Rashad Khalifa ultimate shirk boy. Who call himself the ultimate truth. One of the 99 names of all. Do we, do we have a real Muslim? I don't want to spank the same Rashad Khalifa boy. Who, who is not even courage enough to say yes, I'm a follower of Rashad Khalifa. Don't send me the kids, man. Where are the imams? Where are the stars? Who are always telling Muslims, don't celebrate Chris Christmas. Don't say Merry Christmas to the Christians. Where are those imams, man? I want those. Ultimate disaster. <laughs> That's a good one, Princess Rainbow. Do we have a real Muslim who has the courage and the knowledge? Maybe you have a Christian who wants to call. Yeah, guys, uh, <clears throat> I'm invited uh, to go celebrate, you know, between my family, my family tonight. And tonight this is going to be the very first time, maybe for the people who joined later, they maybe didn't catch it. Today is going to be the first time, guys, I told you because I love you. Listen, guys, listen, are you with me? Today, I told you about that I'm going to become a father. My wife is pregnant. You know, we found out this month. I told you that, right? My family, my, my own mother doesn't know yet. Can you imagine? My own mother does not know yet that I'm going to become a father. So today, we're going to give them a huge surprise in the house of my sister. We're going to celebrate Christmas between family. We're going to go there and for the very first time I'm going to tell my mother. So imagine how much love I have for you guys. I shared with you before sh even telling my own mother. Can you imagine? I'm, I'm, not, I'm not kidding you. You are my family in Christ and I told you that I'm going to become a father in 2020. In a couple of months. I told you before my own mother. Can you imagine? So today I'm going to... You know, because we wanted to do it in a really, you know, beautiful, big surprise, you know. We had some plans, we took pictures. So we're going to, you know, tell everybody. Yeah. You know, it's, it's going to be, you know, you know, guys, I go alive almost every week. Right? But... I'm not a guy, you know, I can talk for hours. You know me by now, right, guys? I can talk for hours without any hes hesitation or not. But I'm not sure how I'm, how I'm going to tell that to my family today. I'm really... Uh, ah. <laughs> you know? Uh, Lee Drew, uh, I don't... I don't... I, I can't share with you the details, okay? The exact details I can't share with you. All right, my friend? Uh, you know, some things, you know, better not to tell. You know what I mean. So, but yeah, I'm going to become a father for the very first time in my life. Uh, it's huge for me, for my wife, especially for my wife, because, you know, it took us a couple of years. So, yeah, it's amazing, man. It's really the best feeling that you can uh, have as a uh, man. You know, to become a father. So thank you for your support, guys. You are my family. Without you, we cannot do live shows. We cannot reach many people. So please, if you want to help us, download our videos. If you want to support us, download our videos. Share our video. Maybe you want to share only a part of our video. Download our videos. Cut the part that you like and share them on your social media. 
You know, if you can help one victim, one victim that is deceived, like a Muslim, if you, want, if you can help just one guy, that is going to be a huge celebration. According to the Bible, that's already a huge celebration in heaven. Just one soul, if you can save him, by sharing the truth with him. All right. Thank you for your support. And like I mentioned, because of you guys, I was able to buy a new computer. Because my old computer could not handle live shows. It was buffering. It was really devastating. The very first live show, a couple months ago. But because of you, your help, your, self, your, your support, your prayers, your donations, we now can do stable live shows. Healthy live shows. Because of you, we can debate many Muslims and share the truth with everybody. But uh, as you know, guys, we are doing this for a very long time, like very, very long time. I used to do that on Paul Talk, right? That's why, where I'm from, Paul Talk, the old school platform. All right. But because of you guys, we have now so many subscribers and viewers. Because of your support, God bless you. God bless your families in this very holy month. Stay safe. Don't get angry, guys. You need to learn to handle, you know, your... You know, you see many Muslims who are calling me all kind of names, who are sending me death threats. You know, I really don't care about it. I started to deal with that. In the beginning, it was really hard for me, you know. I, you know, I come from a uh, Middle Eastern background, and, you know, in the beginning, it was really hard to cope up with all the insults and whatnot, right? All the death threats and whatnot. But I slowly, do, in the, during the years, during the years, I started to, you know, pull myself over that. So I, when I see an insult in a text, I really, I laugh about it. And it's for me a blessing, guys. For me, it's a blessing to be insulted because I'm a follower of Christ. I'm a Christian. And I'm a Messihi. I'm a Christian. So for me, it's a blessing when you curse me and you want to persecute me. You want to send me death threats because I'm a follower of my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Don't get angry, guys. I know, I know. We are in the flesh. We get angry sometimes. We get, you know... But learn to cope up with it. Use it as your weapon, actually. The more, that mean, the more they insult you, that means the more you are causing them harm. Causing them their religion harm. Right? That means you're doing actually a great job. If they don't, imagine if they are applauding me, guys. Imagine if they are applauding me. If they are sending me blessings instead of death threats. Imagine, that means I'm doing a bad job, guys. Right? So it's a good thing, actually. Yeah, run the good race. I'm, I'm exactly, Phyllis. Right? I'm not telling you to, to be political correct. No, 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 never. Don't be political correct. Many Christians, unfortunately, cowards, sorry to say, cowards who call themselves Christians wants to be political correct for Islam. No way. We care about the truth and only the truth will set us free when i go to the quran i read it as it is when i go to the hadith i read it as it is when i go to the tafsir i read it as it is i'm not going to sugarcoat it like the muslim translators i read it as it is and god gave me the gift that i know arabic right god gave me the gift the arabic language that was forced on us by the way in the middle east we, we never spoke Arabic, right? When Islam came with the sword of Muhammad, they forced this language on us. But we, are, we were Aramaic speakers. We were Coptic speakers. We, even in Egypt, they used to speak Coptic language, right? From where I am, we spoke Aramaic. But the language was forced on us by the sword. Convert or else. Pay jizya or else. They will take your women and they have taken our women as sex slaves. Our mothers, our sisters, our daughters. Only because we are rejectors of the lies of Muhammad. This self-proclaimed 
prophet and his man-made sex cult. Right, Muslims? Right? Muslims must follow the sunnah of Muhammad. Suckle him. Uh, but brother, prophet, brother, he's a grown-up male. Keep suckling him, Muhammad smart. According to the Sahih Hadith. You can have boing boing with your own daughter if she is conceived out of illegal marriage from zina it's okay she's technically not your daughter just a second guys hey guys be right back just a second Hey guys, sorry for that. <clears throat> anyway, right? So, you want to be a Muslim and go after your carnage, carnal flesh? I mean, uh, you want to follow the evil? You want to be in the sex brothel of Allah and Muhammad? For the, as you see, the virgins, the huris. I know guys, this is a really busy month. I've been receiving many calls and, and I have to deal with all kinds of things in the background. Do we have any Muslim? Any Christian who wants to call us live, we are live guys. My Skype ID is Christian. Again, my Skype ID is Christian. You are allowed to call us. Surely uh, send me a message through Skype. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year 2020, brother. Congrats and keep up the great work. God bless you and your family. Thank you, Sister Shirley. God bless you too. God bless your family. Stay healthy, stay safe. Thank you for your kind words. Uh, Karen says, good morning, Rob Christian. Well, good morning to you and God bless you, sister. Is there any Muslim? Is there any Christian who wants to call? We are live. The line is open. Anyone? <clears throat> Thank you, uh, Lombok. God bless you, my friend. Random one. Why are you not calling me, random one? Why are you sitting in the live chat? I mean, my Skype is open. Is it really... It's really hard for you to call me. Why are you not calling? Don't tell me you don't own a mic. I mean, come on, man. It's 2020. Even your smartphone has a mic built in it. So why are you not calling me? Or the legend. Mr. Legend, why are you not calling? Talking text is cheap, my friend. Don't tell me you don't own a mic in 2020. It's almost 2020, man. Why, why are you being such cowards? Yeah, Satan, you know, Satan is hurt. And his followers, i.e. the Muslims, are hurt. They don't have the courage anymore. I mean, if, if I was Muhammad, if I was the Prophet of Islam, I would be really ashamed of the Muslims of today.
I kid you not. They cannot even defend Islam. They cannot even defend Islam, man. It must be really, really devastating for Muhammad to see the Muslims of today. Speaking from Kaif, Hira, Hira, Hira. I am ashamed of you Muslims, what Muhammad said, quote unquote. Muslims are really ashamed of their Prophet and Islam. This is why the Imams, the Shiyukh, are only sending me fake Muslims like Ultimate Shirk. A Rashad Khalifa boy who actually was a fake Muslim who created his own cult and called himself the last messenger. And he even called some parts of the Quran to be about him. And also other parts of the Quran are corrupted according to Rashad Khalifa. Do we have real Muslims who has who have the courage and the knowledge to call me? Call me. Tell me why you are not celebrating Christmas with us, Muslims. Why are your Imams are always telling you don't say Merry Christmas to the Christians? What? I always defend my religion? When did you do that? I never spoken to you. So what defend are you talking about, man? Talking text is cheap, Abdul. Call me. And why are you defending? Uh, why are you saying uh, the B word, man? Do you have any shame, man? Muslim, Muslims really are cowards, man. I really pity you, Muslims. We really pity you. You are nothing but victims. And when you are a victim and you are bankrupt, of course, of course you cannot defend Islam. And because you are followers of the agent of Satan, Muhammad, of course you're going to reject the truth and our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Right, Muslims? You care more about your virgins Right? You care more about your virgins, as you see here in the background, than the truth. Right? I mean, Satan, uh, in the shape of Allah, gave you all kind of uh, empty promises. He doesn't uh, love you. He only wants to be loved. Allah does not share his love with anyone. You Muslims can, don't even share love between among yourselves or between yourselves. Shia curse Sunni. Sunni curse Shia. Call them kafir and whatnot, right? Shia call Sunni Muslims Bakris, right? Because they are followers, according to them, they are followers of Abu Bakr. Bakris, curse them left and right. Shia curse Aisha, Hafza, and Abu Bakr, and Omar, and whatnot. They curse the Sahaba. What's left? If you don't even love your own wife, if you are allowed to use taqiyya with your wife, where is the love? Where is the love? What is love? Baby, don't hurt me no more. Any Muslim? I mean, if, if you are allowed to lie to your wife and your wife is allowed to lie to you, what's left? Thank you, Sahih Christian. God bless you, my friend. Thank you very much. God bless you. God bless your family too. And Merry Christmas to you. To all of you. And a really happy, healthy 2020. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it, guys. Do we have any Muslim? Or any Christian? Because, guys, I really have to go soon. So now you can call. Else we'll wrap this up. Because, I'm, as you know, as we told you, we are invited for a celebration to celebrate and uh, we have a really wonderful news to share celebration of our lord and savior in this holy month with families mazel <laughs> that's that's wonderful thank you my friend god bless you thank you
<laughs> Amazing. Thank you for your support, guys. Thank you for your prayers. Thank you for everything that you have done for me for the last 11 months since we are doing this on YouTube. I really, really hoped that I really started this much earlier. I've, I've could have started this like at least 14 years ago. But you know, it's never late. It's never late to start doing videos or live shows like this. It's never late. I mean, if you, if you have the gift to teach or maybe you have the gift to speak Arabic, why not use it, right? Do you have any Muslim? Never too late. Exactly, brother. Exactly. So guys, today we showed you why we call Jesus the Son of the Most High. We showed you from different biblical sources, like Isaiah, how the prophecy was fulfilled. We showed you that. That a, sa a child is born, a son is given, and he will be the mighty God. He is the mighty God. We showed you that Jesus is the eternal word of God, who was already there from the beginning. And the same word became flesh, and everything was created through him and by him. He and the same word owns everything. All the powers, all the dominions are for him. He owns everything. Jesus owns everything. This is why we celebrate his birth in the flesh. Stay blessed, guys. Thank you for your support. Download our videos. Don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button. Smash it as it is possessed by demons or jinns like Muhammad. And click on the notification bell to receive notifications when we go live. Guys, if we don't see each other again before Christmas or the last day of 2019, thank you for everything. God bless you. God bless your families. Go celebrate with your families. Celebrate with your loved ones and friends. Stay healthy. Stay blessed in the name of our Lord and Savior. To the Muslims, drop Muhammad. Drop the fake prophet of Islam who created Islam for him and himself alone, for his own sexual desires. And Aisha knew he was a scam. I all see Aisha saying, Aha! I see your Lord hastens to fill your sexual desires, right, Muhammad? Aisha knew, guys. Aisha knew. So, Muslims, drop Islam. Drop Muhammad, please come back home to your Lord and Savior. I really wish that you will celebrate Christmas with us in this holy month. God bless you, people. God bless your families. Thank you for your support. Without you, we cannot do this, guys. Stay healthy and Lord willing, if we will not see each other because of this really busy month, could be, who knows. Lord willing, we will see each other in a couple of days again. Thank you. Merry Christmas to you all and a happy, healthy 2020. Karen, uh, <laughs> we allowed everybody to call. I, want, I really want to go. You say, can we call now? We already allowed everyone to call. You want to say, you want to call me now? Call me, Karen, call me. It's okay. Call me. I will, I will receive your last call. Call me. We already told everybody that you can call during the whole live show, but you can call me now. You could already call me in the beginning. But call me. If you want to call, call. Last call. Go ahead. You see, guys, no problem. I really have to go, but call me. No problem. Call me. Karen. Uh, Aaron Staley, the topic of today's live show is Christmas. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year to all everybody. Celebration of our Lord and Savior. That's the topic of today. 
Last call, guys. Come on. Anyone? Karen? You want to call me, right? Shirley, you want to call? Okay, call, call. No problem. Call. Oh, you already read my message? Okay, okay. No problem. Sure. No problem. I understand. Thank you for your message. God bless you. No one? <laughs> okay, I think it's this is this is it, right guys? All right. Anyway, thank you guys. God bless you. Jesus is Lord. God, thank you for your ultimate sacrifice. Thank you for your grace. It's free. Everybody who did not accept Jesus Christ as his Lord and Savior. It's a free gift. Grace is a free gift from God. The ultimate sacrifice of God himself in the flesh. It's a free gift for you. Take it. It's not late. Grab it with your own hands. Please come back home and celebrate with us this holy month. The peace of Christ. The life bringer. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Drop Muhammad guys. Islam is false. Muhammad is a fake prophet. And Jesus is Lord. Don't stay deceived Muslims. The gift is yours. Take it. It's yours. God bless you. Merry Christmas and a happy healthy new year guys. We will talk to each other again, hopefully, and Lord willingly, very soon again. God bless.